Radiographs are taken to assess the status of periapical tissues and the quality of root canal treatment. The quality and shade of any restoration present are assessed. If defective, the restoration is replaced. The tooth is isolated with a rubber dam. The restorative material is removed from the access cavity. Refinement of access and removal of old obturating materials from the pulp chamber comprise the most important stage in the bleaching process. Check for the presence of pulp horns. A thin layer of stained dentin is carefully removed towards the facial aspect of the chamber with a round burr. This will remove much discoloration. It also opens the dentinal tubules for better penetration by the bleaching agents. All materials should be removed to a level just apical to the gingival margin. Two to three millimeters of restorative materials, such as IRM or cavit, is applied on the obturating material. The walking bleach paste is prepared by mixing sodium perborate and an inert liquid such as water, saline, or anesthetic solution to the consistency of wet sand. With a plastic instrument or an endodontic plugger, the pulp chamber is packed with the paste. A thick paste of cavit is packed carefully to a thickness of at least 3 mm to ensure a good seal. The rubber dam is removed and the patient is scheduled to return weekly to check the results of the treatment. After achieving adequate bleaching, the pulp chamber and the axis cavity are restored with a combination of zinc phosphate cement and a light cured acid edge composite.